Hi guys, so pillar three of um, you know the pan money priorities for Bitcoin Cash in 2022 is um, ground adoption. Um, and I think the, the main part of that is what I call BCH50 merchants, um, which is about getting 50 merchants, 500 users, um, you know, and a few other a few other elements in 50 uh, top, um, you know, high population uh, cities across the developing world. And this, you know, this can be, um, you know, this is not only like real adoption, but it's also, um, you know, and is supportive of price and, you know, produces media that we can feed into the, um, into the high level marketing effort, right? Uh, you know, not only does it, and it also exploits, um, you know, the uh, one of the core uh, advantages that Bitcoin Cash has, which is, you know, low fees, scalability, that it's open to everyone, decentralized, etc. you know, which other coins are gonna find hard to follow. Um, but also this tight connection with um, you know, all these cities uh, can enable us to effectively create a laboratory for creating new uh, Bitcoin Cash products, particularly in DeFi, on Smart BCH, etc., that solve uh, real problems in the real world uh, for real people that, um, you know, other coins are, are just not seeing, right? Bitcoin Cash is the scrappy upstart, you know, the David, right? We're not the Goliath uh, with all the brand name VC funds and hundreds of millions of dollars uh, behind the project. That's just not us. So, you know, whereas, um, you know, all of these people are, uh, you know, sitting pretty in their uh, offices in uh, New York City and San Francisco, you know, sipping their their lattes or, or whatever, their espressos, um, Bitcoin Cash is on the ground, right? Bitcoin Cash is exploring new markets. Bitcoin Cash is recruiting new people, bringing new perspectives, discovering new problems to solve, uh, new problems that uh, you know Bitcoin, blockchain, etc., can can solve, right? And building up that mass of of users, of stakeholders that over long term is the real, uh, you know, thick part of uh, the decentralization that we would like to have. Because at the end of the day, decentralization is a question of people, right? You know, how, how many different people have some stake or, or influence or power in your system? Um, you know, which also helps create political resilience, right? Because you know, if uh, say in, um, you know, Nigeria, uh, let's say we have 10 million uh, users, you know, when Nigeria tries to, to shut it down, well, that, that's gonna be a, a voting block, right? Uh, that's gonna be a, a block uh, for influence. Um, that's gonna be a lot of stories that those people can tell to their countrymen, to their, um, you know, the people in power that is gonna help uh, resist, um, you know, any attempts to interfere with the growth of the, um, you know, the, the, B, the Bitcoin Cash economy. So, you know, I th and I think this is really, uh, you know, pillar three here, you know, grounded, continue to expand ground adoption. I mean, this is just really the, you know, one of the purest expressions of, of what Bitcoin Cash is, right? Because it's, it's, it's open to everyone, everywhere. And, you know, it particularly works for people who, who don't earn very much, it, it, you know, and um, in the developing world, we have 2 billion uh, working people in the uh, informal economy who experience a high degree of financial uh, exclusion. And Bitcoin Cash is really well suited uh, to resolve that. So, um, yeah, so that's uh, pillar three. That's probably not too controversial. And um, I welcome your thoughts uh, on this issue and on the priorities for Bitcoin Cash in 2022. Let's keep building Bitcoin Cash.